Yo, what's going on, Zen Dude Nation? So today, I'm gonna give you a workout for when you don't have time to work out. We get emails and messages all the time. People are like, yo, man, I still have time to do your workout. So we're like, you know what? You got four minutes. We are doing a four minute Tabata workout. The whole point of this workout is to just get something in. And ideally, you'll maybe do this in the morning once, maybe you'll do it in the evening before you shower. Just stick these in when you can. This is the workout for when you ain't got time to work out. If you like this workout, you want more like this, give us a like, comment below, give us a subscribe. Holla at your boy. All right. All right guys, first up, jump rope, just all out max intensity. That's what we're doing for this entire circuit, ladies and gentlemen. So as you can see here, great form by Brandon, elbows in, the hands are jutting out to the sides of the hips, he's not worrying if he messes up, knees are slightly bent, and toes are not coming that high off the ground. Proper jump rope form is only one to two inches. And you wanna be very strict with these 20 second increments. So make sure if you mess up, totally fine. But you want to be going as hard as you can for the 20 second increments. Don't put the rope down because you're going to pick it right back up. There's only 10 seconds of rest in this workout, ladies and gentlemen. Good. And the reason why, great form again by Brandon, by the way. The reason why these workouts are so effective is because the day, think of your busiest day. Think of a day where you think you literally have absolutely no time. This is a four minute workout. Do this in the morning, one time, one circuit, four minutes. Do one at lunch on your break, four minutes. Do one when you get home from work in the evening. There, right there, you just exercised intensely for 15 minutes, which is, which is better, you know, very beneficial to you, especially if you're sitting um, at a computer all day. Make sure that you guys can fit this in because you absolutely can. It doesn't have to take that long for you to get a efficient, fat burning, and taxing workout in. So good guys, the concentration here should just be um, the form, whether you're doing running in place, if you're following Brandon, um, or regular bounce, it doesn't matter. The biggest thing I'm concerned with is that you are doing whatever feels comfortable for you and you are pushing yourself to your max potential regardless of how many times you mess up and also regardless of if you're doing the tricks or not. If you're spinning the rope fast, it's going to be beneficial to you. Trust me, you're going to be very tired and maxed out. So either way, it's a very, very good workout. Good guys. We only have, this is the fifth set, so we only got three more after this, guys. The reason why these short, intense workouts are so beneficial is because you need to push yourself to a point where you are so exhausted that your body is forced to adapt. That's how the body you know, hangs on and grows lean muscle mass and also burns fat when it's forced to adapt. So I'm not saying you have to take drastic measures here and put yourself in a dangerous situation, but all I'm saying is that when you're working out, like Brandon, I'm pretty sure here he's thinking to myself, he's thinking to himself, yo, I am running from a cheetah right now. I need to spin this thing fast so I can move. And maybe that's not what he's thinking. Whatever. Point <laughs> point being, you need to work out as if your life is depending on guys that's how this short intense exercise you don't need to spend hours in the gym but when you do exercise and you move make it count that's the biggest takeaway from workouts like these you guys two more sets 100 max going back to running in place and again just realize that even as tired as you are you can finish any workout because there's always an ending especially if it's 15 or 30 minutes it's not that long of a workout guys especially when it's four minutes come on you can tax your body for four straight minutes. All right, guys, very good. Last set here. And as I mentioned before, make sure to take this with you. Do it three times throughout the day. You know, do three to four all, you know, in conjunction with each other if you have the time. If you don't, split them up. That's totally fine. The point here is not how long am I working out. The point here is how intensely and how efficiently am I spending the short amount of time that I do have uh, exercising. Awesome job today, guys.